Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I feel like I just want to sit down very casually. I've got some notes here and talk all things handbags. What I wore most throughout the winter, what I plan to wear this summer, and then also handbags that are currently on my wish list, and just what I've been seeing around. So make yourself comfortable. I've just made myself a eggnog iced latte because I went to TK Maxx a couple of weeks ago now and I purchased it was like a little four pack of Christmas coffee syrups. There was eggnog, gingerbread, peppermint, um, and one other one. But anyway, I've used the egg eggnog one a lot lately and it is so delicious. And the other thing that I've brought in here is this beautiful Christmas candle. In my last gift guide video, I unboxed this with you guys, but this is what it looks like when it's all set up. It's so pretty. I get excited to light it every night. And I did not realize that this actually spins because of the heat from the flame. It makes the whole thing spin. So I'm just going to light it just so we've got a little bit of entertainment in the background. Hang on, I might need to take that off. Gee, the birds are singing this afternoon and I'm still in my spot on the floor. I really need to sort out a proper filming area, but it's been so nice having the bed flipped up and just having so much space in my office. So there's my little candle. You'll see it start spinning in a second. So when I was planning my last video, the gift guide video, I had to do a lot of browsing. I looked on Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Prada, YSL, um, all on their websites just to see if I could find anything of affordable and then I was also looking on eBay on the pre-love market and throughout that process I started to notice and just observe what um, the trending items are, trending colors, trending styles when it came to handbags and that's what I wanted to talk about today because I'd love to hear your thoughts on it all and what you are going to be wearing this upcoming season. It's hard for us here in Australia because we are coming into the warmer months we see so much um, autumn winter influence at the wrong time uh, we're always behind here so whatever you guys will be wearing this autumn winter we will be wearing next year it's just always been the way so I have to be really careful as to what I'm influenced to buy because I will see something I'll be like oh my gosh I love that I really want it but it looks amazing with a trench coat and a puffy down jacket but wouldn't necessarily look as good with like a little summery dress and some denim shorts so I do have to be careful there but I did want to share with you the handbags that I use most throughout winter because I think that they were really great and I don't know if you guys are going to see them too much the next few months because I won't be wearing them as much I find that what I wear in terms of handbags throughout winter compared to summer is very different so for example, this Gucci Diana tote, the vintage one, absolutely love the, this throughout winter because it's a little top handle. It looks so beautiful with a blazer or like I said, trench coat. But throughout summer, I just don't tend to reach for it. So I've seen a lot of these still on eBay. Yes, a lot of them do need a restoration, but it's very easy to, easy to do. As you guys know, I have a video on that. So if you are thinking about purchasing one of these, I think it's going to be an absolute hit this winter because we've been seeing a lot of top handle structured bags. So if you're in need of a new work bag, I think this one would be a great option. And I've definitely seen these under the $500 mark. Another handbag that I think I'll be putting away and won't really reach for anytime soon is the Celine Boston bag I feel like any of the speedies maybe not so much the monogram but I don't know I just feel like this is more of a wintry bag for me maybe it's just because of the top handle throughout summer I definitely go for more shoulder bags and more crossbody bags so yeah this one I will be putting away but it was great throughout winter it really elevated an outfit and if I didn't have this one I would definitely opt for the Louis Vuitton speedy in the epi leather because I believe I don't know if they already have but they're doing a re-edition of all these epi leather bags and I think the speedy is one of them so you'll probably notice that the prices of the epi leather speedies is already going up and someone actually commented on my last video saying the epi leather pochette they're doing a re-edition of it so I am so glad I got my hands on one and this is definitely a bag that I feel like I will wear a lot throughout the summer um, any other bags I want to mention for winter suede suede is definitely a winter cozy vibe I absolutely love this little Gucci tote I know I haven't spoken about it much on this channel if you guys want to see a dedicated view a review please let me know in the comments below whenever I share this um, or style this bag up on my Instagram I get so many likes and comments you guys seem to love it so I'm more than happy to do that for you but this is definitely I've paired it with some more summery outfits and it just I just feel like it 
it's more of a cozy vibe so I might be popping this one in its dust bag and putting it aside for now however if you want to see any dedicated videos on any of these please let me know because I do understand that you guys are opposite to me and these are the kinds of bags that you want to see for my fellow Aussies I'll quickly mention three bags that I think I'll be wearing a lot this summer one being the epi leather pochette because it's just a great little all-rounder holds all of my essentials and just the color of it I feel like it's a nice summery one and then of course my little Gucci basket bag I took this one to Sydney with me when I met up with the eBay team and when I was speaking to the girls from the pre-loved handbag department they absolutely love this bag a lot of them actually preferred it without the insert inside which I really really love I have taken this to the beach before like that with all of my you know sunscreen sunglasses um, and just all of my essentials and it was great because as I kind of picked it up I could just shake out any of the sand that was in there so that's definitely a bag I'll reach for a lot and then another one more of a contemporary style is the little longchamp pouch I mentioned this in which video did I mention in I don't know but I have just been using this a lot and I am thinking about getting the crossbody strap for it however it is very easy to just throw onto your wrist so I don't actually know if I need the crossbody strap I think I would just like to get it as a bit of an option so they're the top three handbags I think I'll be wearing this summer so now let's move on to my wish list this is the exciting part so I actually made a purchase this morning on Vestiaire Collective that is the first time I've bought off there Although I browse on there a lot and I have had a lot added to my cart, whenever I go to actually make a purchase, I'm just thrown off by all the additional charges at the end. So they had a tax, I think they had tax, delivery, and then authentication fee. And once that all adds up, I just, yeah, I'm just a bit thrown off and I usually just exit and would, you know, crawl back to eBay or Depop. However, this time I did come across a discount code because it was my first ever purchase on there, which I got 10% off. So it worked out that with the discount, all of the charges were pretty much free. So I went ahead and made the purchase. I'm so excited to share that one with you guys. I won't give away the exact details of the bag and the brand and everything, but I will say it was a vintage bag and it was more of a slouchy style. So I am so excited to share that with you guys. I'm actually really excited to receive it because it didn't have a lot of photos and just the way the photos were done it was a little bit grainy and the bag was kind of just flat like it hadn't been stuffed with everything so it'll be really interesting to see how it sits up um, once I've kind of got it on and have stuff inside so I'll of course unbox that with you guys here on my channel at the beginning of the year I did a video all about my 2023 predicted handbag trends a lot of it's coming to fruition I had a feeling like a couple of months ago I was like wow none of that happened like I was way off but now that a lot of you know you guys in the US and the UK are coming into winter a lot of these styles are happening we're seeing a lot of structured top handle little bags like little Kelly style bags we're seeing a lot of patent bags we're seeing a lot of the slouchy bags and then also another thing that I've noticed a lot of red bags getting around about a month ago I said to my sister there was this exact bag in red as well for the same price it's now sold I would link it if it was still available but this in red and I sent both to my sister. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm really stuck. Do I go the neutral color or do I go for red for a pop of color? Because I thought throughout summer, how nice would it be with like a little black top like this one with some washed out blue denim shorts and like a little red bag. And she was like, look, it's nice, but I just feel like you're better off just going the neutral color. I'm just not sure about red. I just don't think, I haven't been seeing it around much. I just don't know if it's trending. But in like the last, I would say, two weeks I've seen red everywhere I've seen little red shoes I've seen red bags and now I'm almost kicking myself should I have gone the red one so that is something that's on my wish list a little red bag in particular not something bright red I want something more of a, um, a deeper earthy tone red which now that I think about it the Louis Vuitton red epi leather is a really beautiful toned red so I might even look at getting the St. Jack's in the red color rather than go the tan because that's the safe option maybe I will do that I'll look into red and see if they might be a little more affordable because I find with the neutral colors obviously they're in higher demand so maybe a red one might be on the cards what else did I notice a lot of different brands Gucci did one I feel like maybe even Louis Vuitton has done one the shape of the Louis Vuitton Papillon bag is that how you pronounce it papillon it's like that cylinder style bag i've seen a few of those like re-editions of those so maybe that's a style that's going to come in i in particular if i lived in a city 
and I was changing up my bags all the time and can really go all out with my style I would definitely go something like that but because of where I live um, I can appreciate that but it's just not something that I feel like I would get enough wear out of so if that's something you really like and you see one pop up I would grab it because it's definitely something that's trending at the moment another thing I noticed was patent leathers they are everywhere and it's definitely more of a wintry vibe so that is something I'm feeling very influenced to buy at the moment but I'm trying to hold back this here my Dylan Kane bag this is quite shiny it's almost like a patent leather I absolutely love it and I wore this a lot throughout winter so I've seen heaps of those on the pre-love market there are heaps of vintage styles in patent leather and they're generally like nine times out of ten cheaper than standard leather so keep your eye out for those there's something to look out for another thing that's on my wish list is Bottega because I have heard that the Bottega Veneta leather is really buttery soft and just really beautiful to kind of wear against your body so i have been keeping my eye out they really hold their value i haven't seen one at a price that i'm willing to pay but now that that this real slouchy vibe is in which i am here for just because it's so functional um, I am, it's on my radar. So I'm going to be keeping my eye on vintage Bottega. It really doesn't come around often, but it would be nice to have one of those bags in my collection. There was a while there where I was just so into structured bags that as soon as it had any slouch to it, I just was not interested. It's like I've had a complete flip. Now all I'm seeing is slouchy bags and I'm really, really into them. But in saying that, there is one structured bag that I'm really, really wanting. So two brands that do them really well. Vintage Celine and Vintage Gucci. Little top handle Kelly style bags. So I have seen, yeah, like I said, Gucci ones and Celine ones. The ultimate would be a Celine one, just because I have so much Gucci. That is because it's affordable. But I would love a little top handle structured Celine bag. So I'm keeping my eye out. Again, they really hold their value. Um, so if I can't come across one at a price that I'm willing to pay in really good condition, then I have seen a few of the little Gucci ones get, ar get around. And I'm quite particular about that bag because I don't want it too big. I will use it more if it just fits like my mobile, my wallet, and just another couple, something like this size. This would be perfect. This is the top handle su structured bag size that I'm looking for. I honestly love this, but if it was in black leather, I would wear it so much more. It's the suede that just makes it really wintry, and I just don't know. I mean, let me know. What do you guys think? Is suede a summer bag? fabric or is it definitely more of a wintry one I know I can wear whatever I want at the end of the day but whenever I put this on it it actually makes me feel hot just looking at it so maybe if I if I see one of these around the mini size in black leather I will be getting it because it's more of a softer leather it tends to lose its shape a little more so yeah that's what I'm on the hunt for literally this but in just like a black leather because I had one from Zara. I feel like they might even still sell it on Zara. If they do, I'll insert a photo of it. I had that bag for years. I ended up getting rid of it because I just went through a phase where I only wanted kind of designer handbag brands and I used it so much. So if I found something just like that, um, I will be purchasing it. And the good thing about that bag is I used it all year round, whether it was summer, whether it was winter, it did not matter. It was just a really nice little bag. So they're the styles that are on my radar at the moment. I'm feeling very tempted and very influenced by social media to purchase more contemporary brands. However, I don't want to go down that path. The whole reason I fell in love with handbags was because I love the history of them. I love that they have a story to them and I really love the sustainability of buying pre-loved. So it is so tempting. I've had emails from really beautiful contemporary handbag brands offering to send me bags to unbox here on my channel, but I've it's hard, but I've had to decline them because it's just not it's not where I want to head and I need to stay true to myself because they're not bags that I would purchase with my own money. So bags that I would purchase um, with my own money have been Dylan Kane and Longchamp. I mean, I'm talking more affordable contemporary brands. They're ones that I have always purchased, always looked at, and I'm happy to put my money towards. Um, but other than that, I stick to vintage. And I'm just really excited at the moment because like I said, a lot of the styles that I have been seeing lately that are trending 
um, there are so many available on the vintage pre-love market. So that's kind of where my handbag collection is heading because after my trip to Sydney, meeting up with the eBay team, I was put in a position where I had to think about my passion, think about why I started collecting. And after that little trip, I came away from it just really appreciating my hobby and my love for vintage bags. And I just had a bit of an epiphany of stick to what you love. Try not to be influenced by what others are doing around you and go with the bags and the brands and the styles that bring you genuine joy. So I hope you guys stick with me on this journey and continue to buy items, things, whatever it may be that genuinely bring you joy and that you love. So with that being said, I am going to wrap up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let us know in the comments below any styles that are on your radar. We would love to continue this discussion. And for those of you who are return viewers and not yet subscribed, because I know there are a fair few of you, um, please do, because whenever you leave a comment, I am able to see um, if you're subscribed or not and how long you've been subscribed for. So I feel like that is really, I don't know, it's just really nice when I see those of you who are, have been subscribed since the beginning or those of you who are new to my channel. So I hope you have a lovely day or night, depending on where you are and what time you're watching this. And I'll catch you all in my next one. Bye, guys.